we're live. Let's go. Hi, hi. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. The It's time for the question on everyone's mind. Are you feeling a little better? <laughs> I'm on the way back up. I was sick for so long, I still kind of am. I'm mostly just coughing a lot now. I hope you're getting better too, so-and-so. Well, I hope, I hope we can distract you from, uh, <laughs> from the sickness for a little bit. It'll get better, I believe. I believe in my heart. How's your day been so far? I saw that you were uh, working on uh, oxygen that included. Have you worked on, have you done anything else? Not necessarily worked. Just Oni, that sounds like a good day. That sounds like a day I'd want to have. <laughs> Usually not so good with when I'm asleep. Do you guys in the UK have something like, um, Ah, uh, what is it called? NyQuil. That helped me so much while I was uh, in, in the worst parts of my sickness. It's like a cold medicine, but that also helps you fall asleep. You take two pills before going to bed and you'll be fine until the morning. I just hit my head into a wall. <laughs> oh no. How many holes are there in your wall, Sam? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many bumps are there on your head? That doesn't sound very healthy. Trying to press ahead. Loads. <laughs> I had so many shells up. <laughs> Yeah, and now all the shells are down due to concussive force. What are those? Knoll hunters? Knolls? I... I don't know if I want to confront those guys. They seem very... Ew. They don't seem very friendly. Oh my gosh. Knolls are so brutal. They're so strong, but don't they look cool? Look at that armor. Sometimes I get coughs. Is that s cough? It. I think it's right. I'm not sure. English is hard. <laughs> yeah, I still cough a lot. You're probably going to cough. C. C O. C A U F C O P H I don't know. English is dumb. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing that I like about learning Japanese is that at least for the most part the way words sound is consistent. Oh yeah, I'm sorry in advance. I'm going to cough a lot today. That's just the way it is, especially when I talk a lot. But we'll survive. Uh, okay, so I kind of need to go over there, I think. So I don't need to confront these guys. I, I think I'll just... I'll just let them be. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Uh, what should I do? You know what? I'll try to fight them. I'll try to fight them because I, I, I get the feeling that if I don't, they're going to attack me later. They're going to jump in my back when I least expect it. Now at least I have potentially the element of surprise. Oh, one of them is leaving. Or at least going slightly further. How 
initials. All right, Asterion, it's time. Oh no, they detected me. Okay, well, it's time for hamstring shot. 26, they all have about the same XP. This guy seems to be the leader, look at him. I should probably attack him in priority. Oh, dang it! Quickly. Run away! <laughs> I missed! They are huge. Thankfully, one of them is slightly further away, so that's good. Oh no, they have bows. Oh no. What does that do? Seething Fury? I wish I knew what it, what that does. Wait. Oh. Oh, it does say here. Rage brews within the knoll. Once it gives in to its fury, it'll be able to attack multiple times per turn. I don't like this. I do not want this in my life right now. Oh no. I feel like I have made a grave mistake, and by grave mistake I mean I'm gonna be in a grave. What do I do here? I think it's time for a... Twinned Ice Knife? Yeah, I've got... I've got the range. But I... Oh my gosh, how much AC do these guys have? 14? That's not even that much. Oh, hi, Doctos! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing today? It's very, very, very cold in here. It's like... I think it was like 15 Fahrenheit, which is like minus... Uh, probably close to minus 20 Celsius. It's really cold. How is it in, in the UK? In the middle of a CSGO match. Oh, good luck! Good luck and good teammates to you. <laughs> that sneak attack is going great. Yeah, it, it, they have a better perception than I thought they did. Okay, so I'm gonna twin spell. Ice knives! Oh, dang it. Path is interrupted. I'm gonna go slightly further up. And one here, and one there. Critical miss? You've got to be kidding me! These guys might be a little tougher than I gave them credit for. Oh no. Please slip. Oh yeah, he slipped! Okay, okay, this isn't too bad. We've got this. I will survive. <clears throat> oh, it's cold over there too? What's the temperature over in the UK? Here people are panicking! Like, I'm, I'm not kidding, people are panicking, they're losing their minds. They're not used to seeing snow at all. I worked in my undefined retail store <laughs> just before the snow started falling a few days ago and Customers completely rans ransacked the store. Completely. There was nothing left in the grocery section. That was insane to see. I beat you, Sam! And Ductos. I, I, I win... I win the Misery Olympics. <laughs> It's like minus 20 here. Hold on, let me see actually. I need to convert. Let's ask Google. Uh, minus 15. Wait, no, not minus 15. Uh, 15 degrees. In Celsius. Oh, it's just minus 10. 
Not as bad as I thought. It's really weird. When I when I lived in Canada, we counted temperature in Celsius, and now I have to get used to Fahrenheit. I don't like Fahrenheit. Who thought it was a good idea? I never lose. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to accept the loss this time, Ducktoes, but you can you can get me next time. You, you can blame your country. How about that? <laughs> Oh, God, what am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Eldritch Blast. Uh, Eldritch Blast onto, blast onto this guy. Did, oh, miss. Come on. Please will protect me. Got to press on. Uh... Cure wounds onto Mr. Goody Goody here. And then go to hide. Yes, he slipped. Hooray for Ice Knife, it's such an overpowered spell. I wanna use Celsius, but all of the um weather stations use um, the much inferior Fahrenheit system. Let's see, what can I do? I guess I'm just gonna throw an arrow. Nice! Okay, finally something touches. Something hits. Oh god. Good thing I healed him. Yeah, I mean I make I make fun of people who like a little bit who panic because of the snow, but to be fair, the ice the, the, the roads are a little bit iced over and the town does not have a whole lot of snow plows. So it's been a bit chaotic. How does your cities handle snow and ice and the cold? Like, do people panic generally, or and 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 are the ice are the the roads actually salted over? So I feel like here they never really they they'd rather just panic and close everything than actually deal with it. Oh, nice, we got one. Okay. Uh, it's crazy to me that Ice Knife is just level one. <laughs> Alright, slip and fall. Yes! <laughs> the place falls into chaos as soon as snow appears. So it's just like here then. The UK is not that different from the US in that regard, huh? Okay. It's time for... Another Eldritch Blast. Oh, that might push him off. That would be really good. No! Can't you hit anything, Will? You're supposed to be the good guy. Good guys always win! Alright, uh... Cure wounds... Again... Oh, nice one! I think that was maximum healing! And run. Run, run, run. Yeah, the RNG's been uh, screwing me over, except when it comes to these guys falling. <laughs> They're having a little nap over there. Don't mind them. Okay, good, good. Oh no. 
Oh no, what in the world is going on? Oh no. Okay, I need I need to actually deal some damage here. Um, no, that's not gonna work. Take three Scorching Rays to the face. Very well. Oh no, there's no more ice. No! I'm in danger. Back on your feet. Take two. Yeah, I'm fighting the Nulls, and I'm, this is not going as well as I thought it was. It was this was supposed to be a sneak attack, and it turned into, um, well, a sneak attack, but the other way around. <laughs> How are you doing today, Potato? Welcome to the stream. You know what? I'm going to... Hmm. I'm gonna use a potion. I feel like this is appropriate. How are you doing today, Potato? How's your day so far? Have you done anything fun? I am finally starting to recover from this cold I have. Or, or flu, rather. This is definitely more than a cold. Which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna do a flourish, and that did nothing. Ah! I'm in danger. <laughs> Eventful, but not in a good way. Dang. I'm I'm sorry to hear it. I hope it gets better, and I hope we can help with that a little bit. Oh man, those gnolls are so strong. Is there nothing you can do? Uh... <coughs> he doesn't have a whole lot of special actions right now. Oh, I could coat my arrows in poison, maybe? You know what? I'll try it. Why not? Oh, yes! That did a lot of damage to him. Oh, yes! Oh my god, he can attack three times in the same turn. This is unfair! We best leave it at that. That's okay, I won't, I won't ask you too much about it. But I will wish you for a, a better rest of your day. We got this. You got this, we got this. Uh, okay. Okay, it's time for another Scorching Ray. Dang, that's not actually going to work. So what do I do here? I can throw a Scorching Ray on this guy. Oh, I can just get back a little bit and it'll work, right? Please hit. Yes! Okay, I might be able to turn things around now. Yes! Okay, he's gonna be fine. I need to... I need to get him up. Take your, your. And use my last spell point on him. Take your, your. Okay. 
Now he's safe. I'm gonna retreat her because she's... Oh, she's not that damaged, actually. I took a potion. I, I remember now. This do become an early game considering how the leveling up mechanic works in the game. Yeah, that's this fair. Time. This is kind of the part of the reason that I attacked them. It's for the XP, but also like they were all eating there. In order to get to Karlak, I think I have to take this path right here. And I was kind of scared that they would pincer attack me if I took that this route, considering how much blood there is on this entire road. So I thought I'd just deal with the problem up front. Uh... Oh, he gets attack of opportunity on me, doesn't he? Try to respect Shadowheart Light Domain. Her name is literally Shadowheart, though! Why would I respect her light? Oh, she is a cleric, to be honest. She gets a real good AoE divinity spell. That sounds cool. What does it do? I really like her healing spells. Like, she's been so useful for keeping my party alive in tactical mode. There's not much I can do here, really. Oh, I could Misty Step out of there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Misty Step... ...right next to this guy. Try to shoot your arrows now, jerk! Alright, and you shoot him. Yes! All right, all right, we've got a chance, we've got a chance. This is going okay now. What do you mean you can still shoot your arrows? Okay, well, he missed. I think he gets disadvantage. Does he even have a different weapon? I think that's it. Do more? <laughs> Is that your way of saying get good? <laughs> okay. Nine four. Not enough movement. Alright, looks like that's gonna be it. Unless I cast Magic Missile. Oh, he only has seven HP. I'm just gonna end my turn here. He's in a lot of danger. And... On I go. Can you hit him with a sacred flame? Dang it. Not quite. Okay, Asterion can finish him. Yes, here. Go, Asterion, go! <laughs> Dang it, Asterion! I believed in you. Can you not? Light on my Will is having a bad day. Uh, fireball. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Sacred Flame! Okay, thank goodness. Get up, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. Not seeing enough movement. No time to rest. Is the game not active enough for you, Ductos? I am the MC then dies. I'm not sure I understand. <clears throat> so how do I respec um, Shadowheart? How does that even work? Hyena hair. Oh, I can make a potion of speed with that, maybe. Heck yeah. What's inside? We did it. Uh, ooh, 
Ooh, silver band. Oh. Well, I'm glad I got rid of those guys. They were doing a massacre over here. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Now that's gotten me curious. What is that? Written in a furious slopping hand. Sloping hand? This is a letter to the editor of Baller's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Oh no, we have a lot of those around here too. Go to camp and talk with Withers. Oh, that's how you do it. Talk with Withers using Shadowheart. I'll try it. I'm gonna need to go to camp soon. This fight took a lot out of me. Dear Editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry? How archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. <laughs> and yet to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. Oh, Cormier is very far away. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baller's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravenguard li lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. <laughs> This is hilarious. He's trying to get a bear into the city. I'd want to be friends with Giselle. She sounds like a she she sounds like a a nice bear. Beast reeks of brimstone and awful. Every breath is thick with blood. They don't look so healthy. What is going you hear on? what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch that with is cold realization. Not... This isn't the end of one life. Oh the no. The start of another. They have parasites. Gnolls can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Oh no. Strike while the beast is vulnerable. Heck yeah, I'm not letting this happen. Oh no. This is not the kind of food poisoning I'd like to have. More gnolls. Yeah, that's, that is bad. I'm glad I walked into it before it happened. They are strong. Uh, okay, well. It's, it's time. It's the time of truth. Oh heck yeah! Natural 20! Let's go! You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades, I did what I had to do, Ductos. You would have done the same. Too. Stillborn. No good. Oh, no good. Oh, and now they're attacking me. You know what? I can't blame them. But I do need to defend myself. Wait, I could have... Could I have used the sneak attack because I have high ground? Is that how it works? Do you gain advantage when you have high ground? Proficiency... Wait, where does it say? Two high ground. How does high ground even work? Like, what bonuses does it give you? 
You have to be in such a way that they don't see you. Interesting. I'm gonna hide over here. Battle favors the fearless. Uh Eldritch Blast! Yes! I love how it pushes them away. It's so satisfying to see. Okay, I need to get rid of those guys quickly. Advantage? Oh! Oh! I know who to use sneak attack against. Okay. Well, you know what? I am going to use... Uh, I'm gonna twin spell ice knife onto these guys. How did that miss? He's literally on the ground doing nothing. Let's be on my way. Can't afford to let up. I'm sorry, little guys. I have no choice bad aim. <laughs> yeah, this is a get good scenario. Uh... Dang it. This is bad. Okay, so he's gonna be able to... Use sneak attack onto this guy, right? Let's go, Asterian! What a man. Uh, Eldritch Blast! Just one? Come on, Will. Will has been thoroughly useless this entire time. Oh no. Oh, is it dead? It better be dead. I, I don't like this. Uh, time for fire! <laughs> Never mind. Time for light! Yay! Wait, there are still enemies? Where? Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me. He's gonna get up, isn't he? Oh no. 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 I do not like this. Uh... Critical miss. Dang it! I wish I could push him off the cliff. That'd be nice. What now? I'm sure there's a way I can do it, but I need to set it up first. Uh. Okay. I don't want to miss you. You're going down, Mister. Swift as my feet can carry me. Got to keep fighting. And all I have left is a level two spell slot. I like how it's an unspoken rule to shout Eldritch Blast each time each time it's casted. I know. <laughs> Eldritch Blast is such an iconic ability, mostly due to the fact that. It's, it's very common for um, warlocks to just spam it. It's such a good ability, though! It's so versatile, you can give it a bunch of extra effects. Ooh, that is some good coffee. Uh, I'm gonna use a Guiding Bolt. And I'm gonna cast it at level 2. See if I care. You're going down. No! <laughs> Have to keep going. You guys are gonna need some serious aim training after this. 
Eldritch Blast gets even more OP as a Sorlock. Is that like a um, multi-class Sorcerer Warlock? Shocking Grasp time! That's what you get. Shocking Grasp. Is he... Target cannot use reactions. Sure, okay. Eldritch Blast again! Woo! Oh, critical! Nice. That's what I'm talking about. I had to use all of my resources, but this was worth it. Let's go. The fool will join us. Okay, I stopped something potentially very bad from happening here. I I'll say I'm happy with that. Wizard Bane Wizard's Bane oil. Coach your weapon in oil, its target receive a minus three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell save DC. And this advantage on saving throws for maintaining for maintaining concentration for two turns. That's so cool. A hand crossbow! I like this. Shipment orders. What is this about? Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Okay. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what will happen if you open a chest. NF. What in the world is in that chest? And who is NF? And also, where is the chest in question? Find the missing shipment. My, my. Is there like a bomb in there of some kind? I feel like I probably shouldn't open it when I find it. The gods are watching me. Um, what's hiding here? Let's see. Wooden crate. Lots of supplies. I'll take that. What is oh alcohol? No. I don't want to stay in this for too long. Chest is full of my thoughts. <laughs> a dangerous thing indeed. Never read that letter. Mostly because of how I like to speedrun the game. I like to take my time. Yay for supplies! We're gonna need them soon. What's your fastest run of the game? Do you know? Have you actually calculated how much... Um, how much time you've spent? That is a lot of ale. Looks empty. And another null. And another one. I wonder if I can do alchemy now. Let's see. Alchemy. Uh, no, I can't do anything. Unfortunate. How do I make this? Dagger root. Where do I find dagger root? Hold on, does it tell me? Known as the Executioner's Garnish, this herb flourishes in blood-fed soil and has flavored countless final meals. That... that is grim. 24 hours and I could have gone faster. And 24 hours speedrun is pretty slow. I would imagine. But... I mean, the game seems very vast. I don't think I could finish it in 24 hours. How many times have you run the game? Um, 
more stuff over here. Apples! Pumpkins! We're gonna dine well tonight. Rotten food? Ew. Ew. I don't want rotten food. Is that food even good? It seems to be. Fourth campaign currently. <coughs> I can't blame you. The game is so much fun. My dumbass decided to romance the racist frog? What? There's a racist frog? Why? And you can romance it? What does that even mean? A racist frog you can romance? There, there's more corpses over there. Oh my gosh, this place is like a battlefield. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Well, I'll take their fur. I might be able to do something with it. And by something, I mean... Not this. Is it the oil of accuracy? No. Extract all ingredients? What does that mean? Uh. Sure, okay. I've unlocked stuff, apparently. <laughs> what did that do? Uh, hyena ear. Potion of speed. Ashes of hyena ear. Oh, that's what I was able to do. I need some salt. Can I just buy that from a merchant? Or do I need to find it? Hi, Dark One! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing today? Have you done anything fun so far? Oh, there's someone who's alive over there! I like seeing people who are not dead on the ground. It's a refreshing thing. What are you doing here, though? What, Where did she go? She was here a second ago. Did she go in? Hello? I know you're alive. Oh. God, you have a corpse. Wait, no. Is that a corpse? I can loot it. Does that mean it's a corpse? What are you doing with a corpse right next to you? Who are you? Supplies? With fewer mouths to feed now. What is going on? Made new friends. That's such a good thing to hear. I'm so glad. Hooray for new friends. I'm doing a little bit better. I'm recovering from this flu I had. Slowly but surely. Still coughing a lot, but... I mean, I've been okay for the past 45 minutes, thankfully. The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. Oh, that's gotta be Karlak. Oh no. Two. Both stalwarts of Tyr. Sworn to uphold justice. Oh no. Well, I should not go confront her until I've had some rest. My whole party is falling apart right now. Oh no. 
Does she have something to do with all those gnolls? Maybe end, it, uh, end up taking care of a three-year-old, like adopting wise. Sheesh. Um, I'm not sure what to say, but I hope it's going to be okay for, uh, for her. I hope whatever happens, she's going to be in a safe household, because I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't sound pleasant to hear. I, I do hope you can do something to help, at the very least. I can't do much to help, but I hope I can at least offer some sort of distraction while all of that is happening. Oh, some cheese! There is never too much cheese. Are there more people in here? <gasps> more people alive! I like to see that. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. That's good to hear. I, I really, I really hope everything's gonna be okay. My best wishes to both of you. Uh, I want to talk to Trin. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. What's down there? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. Oh, Anders. Oh, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. It's, he's got to be talking about Karlak. Of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. Oh we my were God. lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil, but they collect souls through cunning, not carnage. Yeah. I'm gonna have to confront her one way or the other. I did find Lizelle. I, I found her um, last week on Thursday. We had a, a little stream. I couldn't stream for very long then because I was sick out of my darn mind. Carlax slander. It seems that way, but I'm gonna have to confront her first. I don't want any spoilers. <laughs> But I'm getting this faint feeling that she may not be as evil as they're making her out to be, but I guess we'll find out. Uh. Indeed, she's a uniquely vicious case. All the more reason she must be stopped. Lazelle's romance in the game is like one of the best there is. That's interesting. I don't know if I really want to romance any character. I don't know. I'm I'm a bit less interested in in that aspect of the game. Unless there's like really interesting story tidbits that she can glean from that. Ooh, you think Shadowheart is the best one? Uh, 
She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. Uh, I'll I'll think about it. Just God guide you. I, I don't. It, it see you. You guys seem awfully quick to put her on trial here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set up camp. I think. I am all out of spell slots and everything. Go to camp. Time for some interactions with the party. The game is essentially ends up leaving every conversation option to romance. But why? Why if you just want to be friends? What if you, what if you just want to be roommates? <laughs> I just want to be best bros with Asterion and, and Shadowheart and not Will and whoever else. I just want to be best buddies walking into the sunset together. At a certain point, every character is going to hit on you. Oh, so it's just like Isekai. I get it. Yeah, let's talk with Asterion. You're staring at me again. What do you want? He does not seem to like me very much, does he? Uh, does he? Uh, yeah. I wish he'd like me a little more, because I like him. I think he's pretty cool. He seems to... Oh, sorry for bothering you, buddy. Let's get going. He seems to find me to be annoying. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. You can tell them no, but if you don't tell them no properly, they disapprove. Like Will has a straight up mating dance ready for you. What? <laughs> I don't want to romance Will at all. But I almost want to do it just because I'm very curious about this. A mating dance? <laughs> what in the world? Is he a peacock? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. I want to see it. Listen, if I don't if I don't encounter it in the game, I have to I have to Google it because that sounds so funny. I guess we should get to know each other a little more. Must I'm we? curious. No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I guess Thank I won't you. press you if you don't I'm want sure to talk we'll about it. Perfectly well. She has her secrets, just like Ducto's. It'll get triggered with enough approval. Best be on my way. So I just I just have to pretend to be a goody two shoes in front of him and he'll like me, right? <laughs> his his approval technique seems to be the most straightforward of the bunch. Just be lawful good and he'll like you. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Did you go to the goblin camp yet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did that in um, in in the stream on uh, Thursday, the same one where I found Lizelle. If if you're interested in watching the vod, I think I uploaded it on on the YouTube channel for vods. Because I oh, it should still be um, let me confirm that it should still be on Twitch itself too.
That's if you want to see. But basically, I managed to go in there without fighting, at least a second time. I got in there, I tried to do a sneak attack, it went horribly, uh, because for some reason only half my party was fighting, and the other half just decided they didn't want anything to do with the fight that was going on. And, um, and then I tried again, and that time I was able to mind control the goblins into not attacking me for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, the stream is still there. Assembling the team is the title of it. Yeah, I used, I used the, um, the tadpole, I think, to control their minds somehow. It was messed up. It was a massacre. It I I got completely wrecked. <laughs> Prefer to watch it live. That's fine, that's fine. There's like a million different ways to beat them. It seems that way. That's what I love about this game so far. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. What a man Will is. <laughs> Tiny grooves spider across the ice surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. A sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens, his jaw tenses. Will is keeping something. Ooh, from mystery! A strange <laughs> sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. I'm very curious, but I don't want him to hate me, and also I don't want to give the tadpole exactly what it wants, so I'm just gonna. Gladly. I'm just Anything gonna let it be. We should discuss? I'm just gonna let it be for now. We can we can figure it out later. Enforce your will on will. <laughs> How very punny of you. I guess Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Hi, Gail. Do you need to eat any magic items? Just use this guy's self and walk in. Wait, you can do that? Oh right, Asterion can! I hadn't thought about it. That's such a good idea. I can I can try that later if the um, opportunity rises again. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? All right, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, I think I can already cast Dancing Lights. I'm just going to give this to him. Thank you. spot. Gail, you're a weirdo. I feel it work. <laughs> magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Gail is such a weirdo. Oh, 
it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I sure hope that's true, because I don't like being kept in secret like this. Obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Yeah, I imagine. Man is a walking nuke at higher levels. Interesting. Yeah, wizards. Wizards are strong. Uh, anyone I haven't talked to? I think I've talked to everyone. Oh no, where's Lazelle? Right here. I have a word. I tire of this Faerun, its temperate skies, its soft people. Would that I were doing battle among the tears. I like playing sorcerers. It's just so much fun. It's 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 the fantasy I need. Meta magic hits hard. I know, twin spell. I mean, all of the meta, meta magics are so much fun to use. It feels so flexible. It feels like you can you have a tool for every situation. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crush. Kalea. She means the stars. <clears throat> Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Neogi spelljammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. She's from space. She's a space warrior. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each creche contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers. Exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. I kind of like her. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. She likes to collect knowledge, and she likes to travel the planes. She and I have got a lot in common. Every situation other than tanking, that is. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, for that, I've got Will. <laughs> Not that he's particularly tanky, but I'll he'll gladly charge forward, and I'll gladly let him. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. All right then. Okay. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> Easiest way to describe Githyanki is basically racist pirate space frogs. Isn't it a bit racist to call them frogs to begin with? I don't know. No. If Ducto says no, then uh, he's got to be right. I don't know. She's pretty cool. I, I like her character uh, character design, including her personality and like her motivations and all that. She seems pretty cool. Time to have a nap.
It's long rest time. Uh, what is that over there? Oh, the camp is like a physical place, is it? I, I don't know. I've got no idea. Ask a Githyanki about humans and they call you flesh bags. Oh no. What a jerk. Is she not a flesh bag? Like, what is so different about humans? She seems to have flesh. Or are those scales? Time for some rest. Uh... Eat some rothe ribs. Mmm, delicious. <clears throat> Get some fish, some apples to keep the doctor away, raspberry, and some cheese. Add some carrots and potatoes, and you've got yourself a real stew. Just three more. Maybe a bit of wine to supplement all of that? No, just just one. Uh, I guess this one. All right, let's do it. What a nice Don't meal. Rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. What? It? What? What the fuck, Asterion? No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. Okay, he's definitely a I, vampire of some kind. I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him fuck what he really is. A vampire. I knew it. To sanguine I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Duck shows you knew it too. I. I mean, I guess in retrospect, it was kind of obvious. So he is the one who just emptied that boar out of its blood. But how does he stand in sunlight? Like, he's able to just stand in the sunlight and not be affected visibly. How does that work? He's a special vampire sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, well, he'd need to apply it very regularly. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. Well, I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. Bold of you to tell it to my to tell me to my face that you only eat animals when you were right in front of me trying to suck blood out of my neck. You could have asked me first. What about consent? Oh my god, what do, what do I do? Can I even keep him around? I don't want to push him away because he seems very competent as a teammate, but like he's got to calm his instincts. The Illithid Tadpole is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna cave this time. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. Oh no. It needs to rest. I can't use it. I used it on the goblins earlier, so I can't use it now. SPF 90,000. <laughs> you, 
You put it once in your life and you never have to put sunscreen on again. Useless tadpole. Don't call our friend useless. It's our little uh, friend just wiggling around in our brain. Don't call it useless. Right, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. The one time you wanted to cave in. <laughs> Listen, the peer pressure is getting to me. <laughs> Tried to bite me, because dude. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste. I swear. <laughs> oh, really? I'll be well. You'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Oh my God! What do I do here? Not a bad idea, get this steak. No, he's a friend! The boar <laughs> disagrees. <laughs> the boar can't disagree anymore, Ducktoes. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Oh, man. I, I'm pretty sure I can't ask the boar for its advice. But, like, if he bites me, am I not going to turn into one as well? Like, how does that work? Can I just... I don't know... Give him some meat or something? Neil Newborn, the actor... Is it Newborn or Newborn? The actor for Asterion won Game Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of said vampire. I know, I saw it! And he deserves it. I've seen... Obviously, I haven't seen the whole picture of his um, voice acting, but I've seen some clips. And so far, I've seen a bit of his voice acting, and he's really good. It's clear he gave it his best. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. I have trouble believing Let's make that. Let's ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's only gonna get better as you go on. Can't wait to see it. Can you not bite me? Can we do this any other- Oh, god dang it. Like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Stop it! Stop it! Oh god. Okay, that's enough. You've had enough. Hmm? Oh, of course. <laughs> Get her from <room. laughs> That... That was... Amazing. Well, don't make it weird. I'm it's already weird there. enough as it is. I feel strong. I feel happy. I don't feel so uh, good. Don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. Oh, is that so? And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Oh my god. I don't feel good about this at all, but I feel like I don't really... I don't want to drive him away. I need him very badly as an ally. And also, I want to keep him around because I want to see his voice lines. <laughs> So, I'm just gonna long, 
So many people need killing. Don't say it now, like that. If you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. I hope not. He he you owe me. Towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. You owe me. I could have poked him. I don't want to poke him. <clears throat> I need him unpoked. Bloodless. Feels a bit woozy. Minus one to attack roll, saving throws, and most ability checks. Dang it! That's your fault, Asterion. Happy. Asterion's vampiric hunger has been temporarily sated. Plus one to all attack roll, saving throws, and most ability checks. So it's basically a transaction. I lose a bit. He gains a bit. This is fine. <gasps> it's the doggo! Oh my god! It's the doggo! His name is Scratch! Oh my god! I want to talk to the dog. I want to pet him. Oh, he's so cute! You spot a name on the dog's collar. Scratch. Very appropriate. You want Scratchy Scratch? Pretty sure Asterion's alignment is most likely chaotic evil. Potato will return with more useless information next week. <laughs> Thank you for this potato info dump segment. He goes after animals and the dog is here. Listen, I can let Asterion feed on me for the good of everyone in this camp, but if he touches the dog, it's over. I'm getting the garlic. You can also get an owl bear cub. Owl bear cub? In your party? You're kidding! That sounds so cool! I want to pet him. Gale and Will approve. <laughs> they better. They better take good care of the doggo too. He's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Look at him. He's so big, too. Alright. Time to talk to Asterion again. Is it too late to get the owlbear cub? Because I'm very curious about that. I wouldn't mind having a, a tamed owlbear. They're so strong once they become adults. The owlbear and Scratch also become besties. <gasps> Oh my god, I want it so badly, I want to see it. I hope it's not too late. Alright. I wonder how close I am to leveling up. Not that close, it looks like. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. What is that supposed to mean? A bite from mean? them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that so? So he's like an inferior vampire? You can get the cub and then have to save him from the goblin camp. So he's in the goblin camp, maybe? I could go check. I'm 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 probably going to focus on the Carlac quest first. Because I'm right there. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for two hundred years before we crashed here. Two hundred years? Or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time.
That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Oh, the hunting with goodies vampires. are here now. Never thought I'd see the day. Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wisecracks about having us for supper. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Like I did? It's a good thing I woke up with fangs at my throat and not anyone else. I think he'd be, uh... He'd be a... a, a rogue kebab at this point. Turned on his hex. Uh, you need to kill his mom first. I don't want to kill his mom. Then you get the cup. What do you do with this part of useless info? Yeah, I don't... If he already has a mom, I'm not gonna steal him away from that. Unless the mom attacks us and I have no choice. As much as I want an owl bear pet, like I'm not gonna walk into an orphanage and just steal a kid, or I'm not gonna walk into a perfectly happy home, kill the parents and steal the kid. I'm not a barbarian. I have some values, kind of. <laughs> Finders keepers. <coughs> I'm not sure Finders Keepers works the th the way you think it does, Ducktoes. She's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. I just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now, we're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Yeah, it's it's understandable that everyone is kind of wary of him. He did wake me up with fangs at my throat. And I almost skewered him for that. <laughs> Zero damage. Oh my. Fire time! Oh, everything does zero damage. Sure, why not? <gasps> it's Withers! Hi, Withers! Fate spins along as it should. My favorite skelly buddy. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Look at his ornate gold ornaments. He looks great. Still ain't as bad as having Dirge in the party. I can imagine. I've played D&D &D with murder hobos. I know how it goes. Uh, leave camp. So, Astarian, which of us would you rather feed on if he had free reign? Oh. Uh, Will. No question. <laughs> He's strong, fast, and righteous. I'm celebrating already. Hmm. Will is right there. Do you have nothing to say for yourself? Hmm. You sound disappointed. I'll bite you if you ask. Oh my god, Asterion. I'm sure you would. Don't sound so eager. He's right there. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, time to go see Karlak. She's gotta still be here, right? Uh... I just have to go down under the bridge, I think. And we'll be right there. That's curious. Something over there. What? Oh, dirt mound. Do I still have a shovel? I do. All right, let's dig it. Having a shovel is so useful. 
All right, what's this? Pink and leaf green dye. Still haven't figured out how dye works. Bloodstone. Anyone can squeeze blood from a stone if the edges are sharp enough. <laughs> I, I guess so. Isn't that what uh, Will's eye is made of? In my day, but never hunted a vampire. Just to remind you, I'm merely a spawn. It won't count. But if you want a true vampire, I'm happy to recommend one. Ooh, sounds like he's got a... He's got an enemy of some kind. What a flex showing up to a fight with a shovel. Have you ever played Shovel Knight? He's badass. <laughs> Shovels are great. Alright, time to... Maybe encounter that devil everyone's been talking about. Where is she? Oh, I found her. Hello there. She doesn't seem to be in good shape. <coughs> Hi there. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <laughs> Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. She looks badass! My gosh, I love her armor! She looks badass! I want her in my party! Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers, but I... Ugh. A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hell. What do you mean that's not armor? Of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. Is that like an exoskeleton? You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What is it? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain. Yeah, it's not exactly it's armor, right? Situation. It's just like you belts. Just hear me out. Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. The tadpole you doesn't lie. The truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Vamp dude, give your sunscreen to her. I know, right? She's sunburn. <laughs> She's sunburned three layers deep. It's a clothing because heavy armor is shit for barbarians. <gasps> She's a barbarian! Now I definitely want her in her party. I would like to rage! <laughs> barbarians are so much fun. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Okay, Will, it's time to calm down your uh, moral compass. Will does have a huge stick up his ass. <laughs> he really does. I mean, I can understand kind of because he's been hunting her for so long, but at the same time, he's got some serious main character complexes going on. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? 
shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Thank oh, God's will, you God. see reason. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Really now? First I catch a ride out of a Vernus, then I stumble into a friend. Who's the goddess of luck again? I owe her a flower. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background Ooh. of your moral compass. Now I'm interested. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But Whoa, F word. Use their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? They're not evil, just misunderstood. I, I mean, she looks so cool. Look at that. She's got fire running through her hair. I want fire running through my hair without burning me to a crisp. That looks so freaking badass. Karlak does have a barbarian's tongue. She really does. She's a tiefling. So, what's with tieflings, anyway? Like, what are they? I know they look like devils, kind of, but they're not, and they're much less evil than they are. But I don't actually know. What is a tiefling? I've got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And enjoy this super badass barbarian while I'm away. <laughs> I'm back. Residents of hell, but not devils or demons. That's interesting. So the tieflings do come from uh, from Avernus, then. Pretty chill most of the time. But how can you be a resident of hell, not be evil? and 
not be constantly tormented by literally everything else that's in there. It sounds like a very dangerous place to live unless you're an absolute chaos monster. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? All right, well, Will's not gonna stay in my party. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone said you on Karlak's tail. I'd like to know who the source of yours is. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. <sighs> Gods, what now? Do you have a tax collector on your tail? You're closer than you think. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Well, we're in this together, Will. We're in this together. We won't let them take you. But hopefully you, you've learned a little bit of um, humility from this. Let's change. Let's change party. I want Karlak in my party. Sorry, Will. You're not cool enough. <laughs> Be the boatman. He good guy in. Oh, you're right, the boatman. Is he in D and D though? I don't think there's a boatman in a, a hell boatman in D and D. Is there? Like the toll man. You know what I'm talking about, potato, right? Is he in D and D? Uh, we're once humans, and the ruling party made some deals with devils and got that look. And now every tiefling looks like a fiend. That's interesting. I had no idea. That's so cool to learn about. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. You can say that again. She's literally made a fire. Just make him your character, then boom. In the indie. I mean, yeah, that's true, but he wouldn't. Like, he's got a job to do. He's got no time to go adventuring. He's got to collect the toll. Uh... Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. I see. So I'm not gonna be committing a grave sin by taking them out? Uh... <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? <laughs> Lucky you. Sometimes I think I'd be better off indulging in a bit of light oblivion. <laughs> Well, you may as well make some good memories mixed in with the body horror, huh? Charon? Charon? Wait, is he actually in D&D? &D? In, like, the um, Forgotten Realms? Or not the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, the Forgotten Realms. Uh...
Oh yeah, ch uh, he's in Greek Greek mythology. Is there like a, an equivalent? His name is Boatman. <laughs> the Fairy Man. That's right. That's that's his title. Charon the Boatman. Oh yeah, I've got to actually invite her to my party. Why are we slowing down? Aces. She certainly is happy about this. She likes to fight. She's a true barbarian through and through. Oh, he is! That's so cool! I want to meet him. Well, actually, I'd need to be dead to meet him, right? And also in a very bad place. But I, I want to I just have a chat with him. See how he's doing. He's a cool dude. Danger sins. Reckless attack. Oh, yeah. Reckless attack is so useful. Wild heart. What does that do? Bestial heart. Speak with animal. Uh, bear heart. Resistance to all damage except psychic damage. Dash is a bonus action. Can now rage. <laughs> I would like to rage. <laughs> Have you guys seen um? The Legend of Vox Machina. It's so good! For those who may not know, it's a TV show based on popular D&D &D game run, run, uh, run by um, a bunch of uh, uh, um, voice actors with Matthew Mercer as uh, the Dungeon Master. It's so good! Best Rage is Berserker. Gives an additional action. It sounds really cool. Inciting Howl. Dang, I can't... I can't quite read. <laughs> because of the overlay. Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Remove it. Wait, no, that did not work. It's still on my screen. Ah! Critical Role Show. Yeah, have you seen uh, Legend of Vox Machina? It's so good! When I hear rage, I just think of AOT speech. My soilders? My soilders? What's AOT? Attack on Titan? Is that what it is? I wish I, I need I need to put a command into my overlay that lets me set the overlay to transparent for a bit. Misspelled. Oh no, English. English is hard. Uh, well, I don't know what any of these do. <laughs> what should I choose, potato? Do you remember what these do? Oh, hey, it says here. <coughs> Tough enough to stand up to any punishment. Oh, I mean in the different hearts here. They are untouchable. Extraordinary swiftness. Empowers your leap. And spur. Inciting it to. Uh, spurs on your allies. I think I want to go for Bear because I want her as like a tank, mostly. 
I want her to be able to withstand the most amount of punishment. Alright, let's go for that. Searing Smite, that's so cool. So when does she gain the ability for... Oh, that's the... Th that, okay. Okay, I can change it to Berserker here. Uh, you gain Frenzied Strike and Enraged Throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Frenzy Strike. That is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take your recommendation and try uh, try it out. I think it's gonna work wonders for her too. Let's go, Berserker. She has so much HP. Uh, okay. High AC. How much AC does she have? Let's see. 13, that's not much. In fact, it's less than everyone else, but at least she has a lot of hit points. I would need to increase her dexterity and constitution mostly, I think, for that to be the case. I guess we'll see where it goes. Oh, yeah. So much for a tank. I know, right? Well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I've got a long road ahead. She's got almost twice as much HP as my main character. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like her demented laugh. <laughs> this is amazing. Shadowheart makes the best tank. That's good to know. She does have pretty high AC, with 16, but I need to give her a bit more dexterity or constitution, which I think I'm going to do. Oh my god, look at that charisma score. Oh no, Shadowheart. <laughs> How does Asteria not have more charisma? He's so charismatic to me. Alright, let's go. Despite everything, it's time for a massacre. It's time to shake off her uh, her assailants. Oh, there's a ladder there. Cool. That'll make it easier. You can change the points with Withers, too. Oh, that's so cool. At level 4, I should be getting a, an ability score improvement, right? So I'll probably do that. Knock, knock. Oh. This is locked. This, though, isn't. Knock, knock. It's us. Hi. <laughs> Please. No more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Uh, ooh, detect thoughts. I think this is a good time to use it. Guidance. Let's go. Is that going to be enough? Yes! <laughs> we did it! Success! The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. Okay, interesting. Huh. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. Yeah, you're going you down, do well buddy. You to reconsider your alliance with this animal. 
She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war. Frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. That's Rage just what I want. need. Frighteningly dangerous. Burn with the might of the hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. You're gonna eat those words. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Oh my god, she's so badass. I love her. Oh god. Ouch. This is bad. Okay. Okay. Screw you. Uh, what do I do? I'm gonna go over there. They have AoE attacks. Eyeballs first. Why eyeballs first? I know. They're gonna eat their own eyeballs. Take feats instead of ability score improvement. I never take feats in normal D&D. I can do a vampire bite! Yes! Suck the blood from a living creature to regain hit points. The target takes 2 to 8 piercing damage, but not if it is sleeping or if you are hiding. Interesting. That is so cool. I don't usually take feats in D&D because they're way too complicated. I've got no time for that. Enders can one-shot you here. Oh no. Please don't. Well, I'm gonna have to... I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... No, not that. Oh, dang it. Well, that is bad. Uh... But what I can do... Ice knife! That way, uh, hopefully, he's going to fall on the ground and become prone. Nice. Got to focus. Okay, um... I can use this as a bonus action, so... For now, I'm going to make a... Hmm. Guiding Bolt. Let's do it. At level 2. Or level 1. 5 to 30 damage. It's not that big of an increase. Just, just level 1 will be fine. 16, let's go! He's going down. Alright, and healing word onto Asterion. Ah, yes! He's prone! Success. This is going well. Let's do it. Is she already raging? It doesn't look like that. Like it. Uh. Thaumaturgy. Interesting. These are pretty easy in this. I'm glad they are. I I'll take my time to look at them. Uh, okay, where's the rage action? Where is it? You need to frenzy before you rage. Oh, I see. Let's do it. It's a bonus action. I would like to rage! Woo! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to go over here. Covered. Uh. I'm going to position myself right here and use 
for now a piercing shot. Uh, too hard. Dang it. Well, that'll have to be it for now. She didn't fall prone. Oh no. Okay, well. Ooh, advantage! This is my moment. <laughs> 11 damage. He's going down, down, down. And. Ooh. Can I bite him? I can bite him! Nom. Oh, he doesn't have the happy condition anymore? Oh, he, do he does, he does, okay. And... Retreat! Retreat! Alright, that'll Don't be enough. My luck again. More frenzy to rage. Can, can, can I, like, double frenzy or something? If I just attack him with a regular attack, how much damage is that going to do? Zero to seven. That's not very good. Um, instead... One to eight. I think I'll just throw a firebolt at him and pray. Uh, besides, I can act with Shadow Heart. Aha! Not too bad. And. Finish him! You're kidding! Ridiculous. Oh my god! Why? He's so strong! Why don't you just use a cantrip? Yeah, rip. She's... she's completely dead. She is... just dead. Um... Go from here. Okay then. Um, what do you mean I got lucky? I don't feel so lucky. Uh, I got this. Okay. Frenzied strike. I think I'm gonna do that. Can't reach destination. Why not? Not enough movement. Oh, it's because of hamstring. Dang it. So I'm gonna have to do... Ranged attacks, maybe? I guess I don't have a choice. Sounds like a skill issue. Because the bastard usually does a haste and gets six moves in a row. That's insane! I need to get rid of him. Right now. Poor fucker. There. That's what you get, Anders. Okay. We got this, we got this, we can we can save Shadowheart. Oh god. Scroll of Revivify. I'm gonna need that. Take you. I'm not good to 
last much longer. And with that, uh, I'm gonna put myself right here as a meat shield of sorts. Next. It's time for a little twin spell action, maybe? And one... I can't hit her directly, but I can hit right there. And hit her, her, hit both of them with the AOE. Let's do it! Let's go! Alright. Please fall prone. Not enough movement again. Improvised melee weapon. I can throw something at her. Uh. I want to throw a chair. Oh my god, I can grab her! <laughs> I can grab her and throw her, that's so cool. Alright, I'm gonna grab the chair. Can I throw it? Oh, I can't throw it. To make a melee attack. Oh, okay. I see, I see. This is not as cool as I thought. Well, time for... It's still pretty cool, but I wish I, I could just throw it. <laughs> Hamstring is really bad on a melee character, huh? Enraged throw. <coughs> Wait, I can do this? I can! This is so cool! I didn't even realize. Aww. She's right there! How did you miss this? Oh, she's prone. Time for a sneak attack. Wait, I don't have advantage? Alright, well. Get her! Time for another spell. Uh, I could do burning hands. Will I be able to hit both of them? Oh, the range is too low. Can I get closer without falling on the ice? Yes, I can hit both of them. Let's go. You can even throw halflings and gnomes. This is so cool. And it made the ice melt. Interesting. This game is really well thought out. I love it. Uh, rush attack. Oh, I forgot she has 1 HP. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Alright, uh, time for... Eat it. Melee attack! Alright, time for... Melee attack! Let's go. Frenzied Strain, what's that? Using Frenzied Strike adds a penalty to attack rolls every time, stacking so that you miss more often. This adds up until the end of your Frenzy. That is good to know. There's actually a risk to it, then. And you're gone. 
<laughs> There's acid? Why would there be Oh, it's the attack she did. Survival is all that matters. What is the acid gonna do? Does it damage over time or something? Oh, she's all the way over there. Um, fire time. May the gods take you first. Dang it. Aha, she is no longer hamstrung. It's time for a double attack! Ooh, she does so much damage! Let's go! We did it! Fuck them! Fuck Thalariel! I won't go back. I'm never going back. And Don't worry, we'll help you. friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. You're part of the team now. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> All right. Up, Shadowheart. Okay, it's time for... Oh, wow. <laughs> she is mad. Alright, uh, let's leave before she makes the place fall down on our heads. Karlak, are you okay? Unbridled wrath. Releasing a decade of pent-up rage and a blaze of infernal fury. Oh my god! Calm down. She is... She is gonna make this entire thing fall on its head. <laughs> oh my god. She is mad. She's so, she's awesome. I love this. You had no games on your phone. <laughs> Truly the heart of a barbarian. Really? I love her design. She has a burning she has the burning heart of a barbarian, literally and figuratively. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Honey, I could go all night. Hear that? She is really cool. <laughs> Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to touch the fire. I don't want to stand in the fire. High pain tolerance, and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can shoot the up the wall there? sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Well, I know where to find tieflings for sure. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. I'll certainly go and see him. 
If he can't help, he might be at least able to point me to someone who can. This is so cool. I love the characters. Every single character is awesome in their own way. I love this game. All right, well, time for some looting. What's in here? Sword of Justice. I can have the Sword of Justice now. Tears protection. It does a lot of damage. Scale mail. It's mine now. <coughs> <coughs> oh man. I wonder if Shadowheart can wield this. Is she proficient with... Oops. Martial weapon... Not two-handed swords. Great swords. It doesn't seem like she can wield this. Unfortunately. It do be useful for Karlak. Oh yeah, she is a barbarian. Surely she can, right? Four to fifteen damage. Uh. This is oh six to sixteen damage. It's a little bit stronger, but it's also got tears protection. Whatever that does. Oh, it's a plus one weapon. So it has a better chance to hit too. Let's go. Nice. I love this. Okay. And can anyone wear the scale mail? I feel like... So, how does her unarmored, um... AC bonus work, or unarmored defense. Your body is as resilient as any armor. While not wearing armor, you add your con constitution modifier to your armor class. Which is a plus two. So that's why she has a total of, what, 13? Yeah, 13. But if I equipped her with this armor... She would have 14, plus, uh, plus two, potentially. But would she lose any bonus? That 13 AC is sad, isn't it? Like, is she going to get a disadvantage into any of her abilities by wearing armor? Because I think some abilities are better if you don't wear armor, right? Is this going to burn off on her? I don't know, I'm just gonna put it on. 15 AC, yay! Let's go! 14 plus 1. So... 15. Well, it's better than 13, for sure. It's definitely better. Let's see, what else? And crossbow... Not as useful as her crossbow she already has. I could give this to Shadowheart. Uh... Alright, well, let's keep it at this for now. She gets disadvantage with heavy armor. Oh, I see. But this is medium armor, isn't it? Yeah, medium armor. Press the helmet icon above the pants on the right. I see. It's 
so... Can I make her wear this, but it still looks like her regular armor? I don't think Shadowheart can use hand crossbows. Let's let's double check that. Oh, you're right. She is not. Okay, well. Rip. Yeah, is there a way I can make her look like she's wearing the other armor? Because this fits her so well. Like, look at this. She looks badass, but I want to give her a better armor class. Give it to Asterion. Let's see. He already has a short bow. And the... Is it better? It's about the same. But it has different abilities. Um... I think crossbows are pretty cool. Oh, and that leaves one of his hands free. Interesting. Well, I'll leave it at that for now. Well, functional armor is better than cosmetic armor, Launching. in this case. Let's get a short rest in. Oh, that took the edge off. And for Shadowheart... Maybe... A little cure wound on herself would do some good. There we go. I must keep going. All refreshed. I'm well in it. We can wield two hand crossbows at a time too. That's really cool. Don't you need like a feat to, a to do that though? Uh... All right. Well, well, let's go back there. Uh, is there um? Teleportation. Oh, yeah. Right there. Uh, Emerald Grove. Let's go. And now we go back to the camp. Door doesn't seem to be open. I might have to go the scenic route. If there's even such a thing. Hello? Oh, thank you. Those guys are so nice letting me in. Asterion can use two without a feet, pretty sure. Really? Well, if I find another one... Do I have another one already? I don't seem to. But if I find another one, he's gonna, he's gonna equip it. That sounds so cool, wielding two crossbows at the same time. Un unpractical, but so badass. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay. Let's see if that smith can help out. Also, maybe I should go and see a merchant of some kind. There are plenty around here. What does he sell? Or she sell, rather. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? I oh, love her. Feverish. I want her and to be my grandma. Sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. She looks so nice. Take too many long rests before dealing with the gobos and everyone in the grove dies. Really? Oh my god. That's not good. Like the, the goblin camp? 
Uh, I should deal with them, huh? I'm almost level 4, too. That's gonna make it easier, isn't it? Hey, bother. Oh, she has a lot of gold. Uh, do you want a cactus? Here, have a cactus. <clears throat> Silver band, I can sell that maybe. Uh, go for chalice. She can have all of my uh, precious stuff. I can give her my chancletas! Some gems. And in exchange, I could use a potion. Oh wow, those are expensive! Wow. Um, what is this? Giant strength. Oh, that is expensive, but it could be useful. Potion of invisibility, I like this. All of her stuff is really expensive, though. Alright, well... Oh, that's for all four potions? It's not too bad, then. Wait, no, I don't want to give her all my gold. Uh, 37... Oh, I can just click this to balance the offer, can I? Oh, that's so much easier! She's such a nice grandma. The trader will be pleased with this offer. Okay, well, let's do it. Yay! She's happy! I don't need a scroll of Scorching Ray. I can cast that at will already, can I? I can just sell it to her. Same thing with this. Take care now, sweetie. She seems so nice. Get time to see this guy, Damon. Thought I sensed an inferno around here, but you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the Hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The Devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel keeps me burning hot very hot by the smell of it might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil mind if I take a listen be my guest but don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut Phew. you really are burning up whoever put that engine together Tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Yeah, I understood I all of that. <laughs> I need infernal iron. Totally did. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Uh oh. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. That would be really good. I wouldn't want her to burn up. Also, is there any way to like transmogrify her armor to look and to look like her the, the armor that she had before? Because if so, I'd like to do it. She looks so much better with the, um... 
the, the, the like regular armor. I really like her character design. No transmog options as of now. Well, that's okay. We'll keep this one on then. Because I'm playing in tactician mode and I can't afford to have less AC. <laughs> you can get it with mods though. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know there were mods for the game. I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic, once you know what you're looking for. I can show you where I'd look. I would like that. Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock if you're looking to load up. She does have a lot, wow. He has a lot of things, including another hand crossbow. Ooh. Oh, that is going to eat up all of my gold. Oh. <laughs> Light crossbow plus. Oh, that's not a hand crossbow. <gasps> hand crossbow plus one. Let's go. I want this. Okay, I'm, I'm buying it. Nobody's going to stop me. Alchemist fire. I want to keep that. Take these old bottles. Goblin bow. Take. Oh. What else do I have to sell? Shaft of a broken spear. You can have that. You can have this random letter I found. Uh, short sword. Okay, well, let's do it. I got a hand crossbow plus one, and it's magical. <clears throat> the community went ham with the mods. I can't imagine. If it's possible to mine such a great game, uh, to mine, to, to, to mod such a great game, I'd imagine people would do it in droves. Why do you still have the green mind? What does that mean? Green mind? Oh, oh, this, oh, oh, god, I didn't even notice it was there. You can have it. You know what, you can even have it for free if you want. I don't want this thing anymore there just you can just have it for free <laughs> do what you want with it I don't care <laughs> overlock it you can sell this um, these coins can power infernal engines I feel like that's something I want to keep Considering I have an infernal engine in my party now. Uh, there. What else? Leather boots. And... It's not a whole lot of gold, but it'll keep me afloat for a while. She could use a potion in her inventory. Let's see. Oh my god, my main character has way too many. There. Now everyone has four. Yay! Communism! Lucky Charm is now gone. But what do you mean, Lucky Charm? Did I get rid of a Lucky Charm? What was that? Was the green brain was? A Lucky Charm? I don't want it. Uh, okay. 
everything? How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Uh, I I don't know. We should be getting drunk at least. No fun waiting for death sober. He's very, very pessimistic. Green brain lucky. I don't want it. I've been very unlucky with the brain, so... Oh, I need to talk to Zoru with... La... Laon? La... 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 Lazelle? Lazelle is her name. I don't know why I keep saying Laon. Okay, well, I'm gonna go deal with the goblins, I think. Because I'm very worried about the possibility of them just wrecking the place. Uh, where can I go? Over here. That's the closest spot, I think. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parts. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time. We're going north. If we survive this bug's banquet. Hmm, sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. We're gonna fight off the goblins. At last. Take away the threat. But we're gonna do it tomorrow. Because I am still recovering and I need a break. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, for joining. Thank you so much for your guidance, Potato, as well. And thank you for hanging out. I'm going to be back. It's not where they are. What do you mean? Aren't they over there? Wait, no. Oh, wait. They are right there, aren't they? Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I know where to go now. Back the way we came. If we can find them, that is. But anyway, I'll I'll go I'll go there. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. I see. That's where they are. These goblins aren't exactly house proud as occupiers go. Blame the gods. Like Scrawny Buckberry, and he's while. sleeping too. I might be able to get the jump on him. Tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a very good rest of your day. Sister? I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. With some more Baldur's Gate. I didn't make a proper schedule this week because I didn't know if I'd be healthy enough to really do anything. But I'm I'm recovering nicely, so we'll we'll play some more Baldur's Gate tomorrow. And until then until then, take care, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye!